Was you one of the lucky few that was able to take part in the PSO2 New Genesis Global World Beta over the weekend? If so, then congratulations. There is one more campaign you can take part in, which is of course the survey of letting a Sega and PSO know exactly how you feel about the beta. And today, I am going to be going over everything you can bet from this survey and also the rewards you will get for doing it. And like always, if you are new here or you find it video helpful or you have seen me a million times and haven't done it yet, make sure you do the like, favorite, subscribe, hit all the bells, do all that jazz, and also don't forget, I do stream here on YouTube every Saturday and Sunday starting at 3 p.m. Central. And with that, let's get in the survey and see what's going on with it, shall we? And before we hop into this, I will have a link to this in the description. You, of course, do have to sign in with whatever account was tied to it, so uh, make sure you do that. And if you did take part, it will help out a lot for the game in the future. So let's go ahead and talk about the rewards you're going to be getting for doing this, which is, of course, a 100 star gem that will be the tribute at a later date. And it will be coming to your busy phone. Uh, so this survey is available right now from the time you're watching it video, all the way up to the 23rd of may so you only got at that point roughly a little over a week uh, to actually uh, sign up and it will close at 1 59 a.m uh, central standard time so with that uh, let's go ahead click on this and we'll see what sega want from us and of course the survey itself uh we gonna go ahead and agree and a b again so uh what is your gender uh i'm i'm a male i'm pretty sure uh, what is uh, your age in yields? I, I literally just had a birthday over the weekend, so uh, I am 34, I I think. And then we have ourselves, uh, which of the following devices do you own? Uh, I own a PF4, which we use to it. Why some of these heal? Uh, F1, PC, PC uh, smartphone, and next, on what platform do you usually play PSO2 on? Uh, I play it mainly on PC, can we pick multiple? Oh, 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 I see the option here, yes, I play it on Steam, yeah, I'm gonna go Steam, because I put him up in PC, put him up as soon as the Steam version came out, so, uh, PC, actually, I get technically out of PC pre-Steam, but, whatever, uh, which, uh, Fantasy Store games have you played before? Uh, this is where we get bad, because, uh, I have only, um, played, uh, PSO2. So, we want to go with, oh, oh, so accusing PSO2. I haven't played any other, it's sad but true. I met the boat on all of these. So, next, are you going to play any online game uh other than pso2 uh no um i feel i feel like i born here a little out of date but um can i hit next because uh i'm not playing any of these that would be a yes how many days do you play uh in the quote beta test i literally played all three days and you know i technically i play six days but i obviously we're not counting jp heal so three it is Pre-describe the effect of your PC uh, you use to participate in the beta test. CPU, uh, uh, Amazon. I'm going to look this up because I literally just built my PC not too long ago and I don't remember. And they'll, they'll in my setting for anyone who were curious about this. And also, by the way, I do will like this in Japanese. So I guess it might be the same uh, sorbet that JP Player got. So that's interesting. Anyway, next. This survey is about PSO2 new Genesis content. Please answer the question related to the below area. Interface, graph head, blah, blah, blah. We, we, we just can go through all that. So let's go ahead and hit next. So let's see. Uh, please await the following areas uh, related to character creation at the salon and go ahead from one to five. A character visual model. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go very good. Any of it might get very convoluted later, but we will see when we get a billion attachments. Uh, the level of freedom provided by character equation. I'm going to go ahead and say, once again, since it's extremely limited, I'm going to go good for the time being because uh, we have seen video behind the scenes. I've been doing you know, all sorts of stuff with all the add-ons and stuff. That doesn't mean all that going to make it into the full release. So let's just go good for now. Uh, character equation, slot salon, uh, ease of use. Normal 
I, f I feel I feel like it was a little more convoluted than than it was in Bait PSO2. But then again, Bait PSO2 was also kind of funky. So I guess it might be about the same or fine, I guess, I guess. So onwards, let's see. Pre-await the control and ease of understanding the end game interface it main menu uh and a control i'm gonna go normal because it's not like bad it's not like pso too bad but it's not like great either uh optimize from control setting that is actually good i am gonna go uh very good since i played it with control and had no issues uh map and mini map ease of understanding this is uh mm. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I wanna, I wanna go bad just because of, like, the mini-map when it comes to, like, partying. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go bad on that one. Let's see, tap dip play, a use of understanding. I'm gonna go normal, like, I didn't have any ish issue with it, so I'm gonna go normal, not, like, super grand by any what many means, but, you know. Uh, please describe what you feel was, uh, difficult to understand regarding the map and, uh, mini-map. Okay, there we go. So, my biggest issue, honestly, with the mini-map is, of course, as you can read with my horrible broken English. My issue is mainly is uh, not having a proper 3D marker to actually see where your party is, and the mini-map is horrible. Uh, when we start getting into area with a lot of height or a lot of little areas you can, like, go in and out of, hopefully that will help and we can get that mini-map issue fixed. Uh, but outside of that, how would you rate the in-game graphic on a scale of 1 to 5? Honestly, I'm putting see oh I should say, seeing the game one in at the highest setting. The open field graphics is honestly like, I'm gonna say very good because in a lot of way it kind of surprising that they could actually get it looking as good as it does. Especially with the tie-in back to PSO2 and how much insane work that obviously take to do. So, uh, it way beyond what I was affecting. But let's see, graphics and enemy special effect. Yeah, graphic and enemy special effect. See, this is bad. This, I feel like this is extremely vague. And at the same time, uh, there is a setting to turn down some of the visual quality. By the way, I guess I'm going to go with normal here. Since uh, a lot of like the lighting effects that is you know mainly tied to attacks and whatnot, any at the highest setting is extremely like hard on the eyes and with a little bit of like I, f I feel like under the warm pulse and looking at could be a seizure problem and not have it so jarring but like i said you can technically tone tone it down a bit so uh yeah i'm gonna go normal once again if you are gonna play the full release make sure you turn down the graphical uh, quality when it comes to the lighting please select all the classes that you played during the quote beta i'm playing angel but i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna pick all of these because i know in global i kind of focus on angel a lot uh, but that was mainly because i actually played so much in jp for the beta beforehand and i pretty much played every class and i think i ended up getting almost every class around like eight or nine in level so uh i'm gonna go with everything and from here we have uh pretty wait how satisfying the following areas of eat classes on a scale of one to five hunter proton art i'm gonna go back we had a discussion about the hunter like abilities of a dreamly slow appeal to the last beta so Actually, hang on, now looking at this, we actually do have this. Hunter weapon action. Yeah, that will probably be bad. Let's go normal on them, because I just realized this is technically separate, and I get technically normal action and what I'm complaining about. The quack kill is, I get normal for the most part. Hunter controls. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go good on that, because it actually does feel a lot better than it does in PSO. Uh, Poton arts, uh, that one is... Yeah, let's go normal. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, let's go normal. Because I think they did know, once again, some of the speed and some of the distance on some of the Proton art. Pack kill, uh, I feel like actually good since we do have like a whole bunch of like buffs and stuff. Uh, and then from here we will do a uh, final weapon action. I'm going to go normal on that as well. It's fine. Uh, and then we move into final uh, control. Once again, normal. No will issue one way or another. Wangel, here we go. Wangel Photon all. I'm going to go normal on this, mainly because of one or two that is, like, a little confusing, mainly the ability to throw a grenade, and I still never learned how to actually put down a mine any if I did it, like, twice by accident. So, that that could be easily me just not weeding, you know, the the equipment when I actually unlock the, the actual attack, but I'm going to say normal for the most part, it's fine. I don't I don't really have that many complaint about Wangel. Uh, Wangel, uh, class skills. I'm not, I'm not yeah, let's go normal, because like I said, I do have some issue with 
understanding how to do certain things, but at the same time, at throwing grenade is extremely satisfying. When your weapon action, go ahead and say, well, what was what the option? Very good and good. Yeah, let's go good, because, uh, because, like, actually attacking is fine, and it actually worked pretty well. And control, uh, let's go ahead and go, I feel very good mainly. Oh, no, 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 let's say, let's say good, because we still don't have animation canceling. Because there were still some moments in Ian Wayne's or, but this is pretty much all classes. If you stuck in using certain ability or certain photon art, you do get stuck and you can't escape it and then you get damaged. But, you know, possibly that will be fixed before launch, but we will see. Uh, gun or photon art, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to say bad because they, yeah, I, I feel, I feel like they're not nearly as interesting as they was in Vape PSO. Class skills, um, normal, I guess. Gun or weapon. Weapon action. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go bad on this because they're not like awful, but it's nowhere near as satisfying, which it mainly because of the animation stuff. Uh, gunner controls. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, eh, no, I'll let go normal, let give it a benefit of, nah. Because the thing is, my biggest issue is they have always stated a fixing, so I don't know about that. Uh, let's see, four techniques. Um, let's go ahead and say normal, I guess. Quack guild. Um, yeah. I actually don't mind Imagine. Imagine not that bad, so let go good. Uh, weapon actions is, uh, I actually, honestly, I actually really like the action because it's it. The combat with, like, no more attacks is so much better and not nearly as, uh, slow pace at PSO 2 so I'm very impressed that we can go good on control. And then Tekka is, uh, kind of, kind of almost the same here. When we get more weapon, we will see how that balance out. So let's go ahead and go normal. Uh, weapon action, um, uh, let's go above average heal and then control control a good I like I said a lot of the control stuff I am really really happy about when you come to the mage classes and then from here what do we have a pre describe what you feel okay we, we're gonna we're gonna have to white out a lot of stuff here I guess I'll be back in a second on that and I, I went ahead and just said slow because let's be honest it was slow for Hunter let's go ahead and say animation is slow uh for Gunner because it kind of is it's slow and not that you know fancy yeah that one is animation feel uh, oh, feel slow. There's gonna, there's gonna be a trend. There's a, I probably just need to copy and paste that at that point because I have the same complaint about all of this. And then from here, uh, we have a pre weight for each area, uh, relating uh, to exploration, setting, combat scenario, and a kill one to five. Uh, the point see uh, enemies. Yeah, I feel, I feel a jet white. Uh, like the enemies are not in giant quadrupeds. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go jet white on this. I'm cool with that. Uh, frequency of gathering opportunity. I kind, I kind of feel like that one is a little bit down and need to be brought up. Um, cause like mining, honestly, mining felt fine. My issue was mainly. Oh wait, it's saying mine fruit. Mm. My biggest issue is still like fruit and vegetables. I feel like it's pretty low. Everything else I'm cool with. Uh, map design of the territory. Honestly, like I think it's good. I'm in, I'm kind of impressed on how well you know each of the area stands out so very much from you know another area you was in. So we can go very good in that. Uh, pre describe uh, the item you felt were too uh uncommon uh, during uh the quote beta test. We, we're gonna go to a trade up uh vegetable because I literally I went around for an hour trying to find 10 of these things during the beta and I only found like what eight or nine. So yeah, the farm weight need to go a little bit higher on that or leapy a little more like easier to find out where they actually spawn because supposedly they put the spawn everywhere, but they seem to be very far and in between. Uh, and from here we go to towels and cocoon ease of uh, finding a towel and cocoon. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say. I'm gonna say good right now, because there were technically only, what, one that was kind of hidden. Uh, I imagine, uh, they probably gonna be a lot more hidden around. This is, like, one of the mechanics I don't feel like I can, like, like, full-on, um, give a, a good opinion on. Uh, just because in the beta, outside that one, they all were pretty much open. And then on top of that, like, do you enjoy trying to find them? And I kind of fall into the camp. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, actually, yeah, let's go normal on that. Because, I don't know, it's not bad, but not great either. Strategy and fun. Actually, I really enjoyed them, so I'm going to go very good here because i pretty much enjoyed all the towel for the most part none of them was bad by any means let's see difficult of the tower for player at level 10 or higher i was able to do it like in what the main towel they're speaking of here which was the co-op one i honestly feel it was jet white because at level 10 it was challenging because i died like twice but at the same time 
doable since I did complete all the quests. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, and then we have also I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Jet White because I I feel the actual content of what we had I'm I'm cool with. We wait the use of understanding of the trial and scale of one to five. Yeah, very good. Cause I, I the trials were great. I literally the trial the actual trial and how to find them and do them. I want that to <laughs> be added to parties. So I'm gonna go ahead and say. Uh, very good on that. I actually was okay with it. I had no issue. Pre-weight your origin quest affiliates. Uh, matching system. Uh, ease of use and understanding. I'm gonna say normal just because uh, when doing uh, doing the map making, it was very unclear that you could technically, you know, actually teleport to uh, the area and take part in it once the origin quest actually began. Because you literally had to open your map and click on it and then say yes. Like, outside of that, it was fine. Because once you know that, or if you went to the origin quest, you know, it worked fairly decent. It had came a long way since JP. JP, it was kind of a broken mess. Leak Global was fairly decent. I didn't, in other words, I didn't fight the boss alone for like the three times I did the origin quest, so... Yay, I guess. Origin quest is available for though with a battle power of 950 or greater or and recommended for 8 groups. I'm gonna go Jet White because it's at least the one we actually did. Like, it wasn't hard by any means, but at the same time, it still was like a lot of moving parts and a lot to keep track of. It was extremely fun in that way, but not like brutally, you know, over the top though. Uh, so I'm gonna say pretty much Jet White. pre weight needs other feature newly added to PSO2 New Genesis Pro Beta on the scale of 1 to 5. The new gliding action. I'm gonna go ahead and say good. My like my only worry about the gliding is what we get asset to all the environment, which you know that might not be an issue. I kind of worry that you know gliding how slow it might get a little tedious. Uh, I kind of wish it was like a button you could put to you know one or like glide factor. I kind of feel like while you're gliding, you pretty much your only option is stealing, and then you can hit jump again to cancel it and fall. Maybe uh, letting you hit in the case of a controller, like the white trigger, like you do when you won. Hit that button and you would just glide faster. That'd probably be nice. Actually, we're going to go normal on that because there is room of improvement. You get the job done, I guess. Uh, the new proton dash. Absolutely good. Like being able to dash around and run quickly. You can get around extremely quick that way. So that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, multi weapons. I'm gonna go normal because once again, this is one of the mechanic that I feel like gonna have like a lot of uses. But um, I follow like the UKs in the field, especially as we get more and more equipment. We will have to see how that actually balance out. Uh, the max center easy to use or understand. Um, the thing is about the max up is uh, I feel like once again we didn't get a heavy chance to test it. Just because of how open a lot of cocoons was. Uh, I don't really like one that it would technically you full on. But it seemed to work. Uh, the only issue is... Um, it, it, it wasn't a thing that I feel like they don't explain it. You kind of come to the assumption of what it does. And the assumption just have to be white. Also, I kind of wish it was a little bit more to the mag as well. It would be nice if not only would it find dungeon. If we could get like ability for a mag or something. That would allow it to see like treasure chests and stuff like that especially the chests that don't we spawn or from the beta anyway it seemed like a handful of them doesn't we spawn and uh it'd be nice to actually like be able to hit a button and be able to literally like scan an area and if you come somewhere close you could just you know find them so once again do we get the full release uh i don't want to say it bad because it walk it just you know we, we we got some improvement we can do and some stuff to add to it not like fixing it just like adding to it so yeah we're gonna go ahead and go with it i get normal for now uh communication function chat uh emote stamp well, what we had it seemed to walk fine i had i had no real issue creating you know um symbol art is still the same as in pso i like literally they just took all the systems and just took it straight out of pso2 dumped it in new genesis and off they went so we're gonna go ahead and say yes on that uh please let uh, the setting that uh, was uh, recommended to you uh in simple graphics setting i don't remember <laughs> i legit don't remember like i have my assumptions of where i was but i don't remember would you like to play uh after the release? Uh yes. Uh I kinda I kinda have a YouTube channel dedicated to Fancy Thor and New Gen City. Good, so I think I think that was a given. What platform will you be playing a new Genesis on after a launch? I will be playing on PC. Uh I will probably honestly, I keep wanting to say PC, I keep forgetting like, oh no, that that is actually the window thought. 
we not doing that. Um, but yeah, I would be playing it on Steam, and I kind of, I kind of wish we had like Epop One slash Series X still, because I guess I'm not gonna be playing it on Series X. I am curious to see how it runs on it, which I will test at launch. But uh, I will actually be playing on Steam though. Pre-select how you hold about the beta tests or the beta, yeah, the beta tests. The Epop, yeah, yeah, cause. Oh, they mean the actual test. So yeah, official website, prologue. Cause uh, well, what did we, what did we see? Was it Twiddle? I'm trying to remember. What was the fourth time we seen it? I want to say it was Twiddle, wasn't it? And when they announced the date, cause the prologue announced it like it will be happening, but didn't give it a date. So yeah, we're gonna go with I get, I get social media, the prologue, and and then the official website. Next, uh, please let well you have seen new Genesis information. Uh, site. Uh, prolog. Yeah, it's a new Genesis information. I do watch other content cradle, so I'm gonna go ahead and say other broadcasts. Let's see, video showing site, YouTube slash Twitch, yes, official Twitter, and then that, that would be about it. So off we go. Uh, how likely are you to recommend PSO to a new Genesis? I honestly would recommend it, like, I wouldn't say extremely likely, but I feel lightly. I, I feel like in one of them cases, if you enjoy MMOs, if you are fine with, you know, the, the more Xenoblade-ish uh, style of it, it would be, like, an easy recommendation. But I wouldn't say, like, extremely recommended, because I wouldn't go out and, like, recommend it to, you know, <laughs> someone who don't play MMOs. So I'm going to say lightly. Uh, cause if anyone asked me about it, I'm gonna highly recommend it as long as, you know, the beta, anything to go by once we get the release. But yeah, at the same time, I feel like as a, a you know, PSO, like, content cradle, most of the people that I would be talking to already playing or interested by default. But, you know, the, the love of, uh, not having any real friends. Oh, oh, I need, I need to pick that one day, maybe. Uh, let's see, if you have any other thought and recommendation, or would you like to share it? To be honest, my complaint, the only real complaint I was going to say was the whole mini-map situation, but, you know, they always give them the option to do that, so, thank you for everything. Let's suck up the Sega. Uh, everything, and we I love you, because let's be honest, like I said, my, my complaint, I did, and uh, I imagine a lot of the messages are going to be very hateful and mean, so maybe whoever weeding over it might need to have a good day. And from there, all New Genesis whole beta test is, uh, or survey, is officially done. And there you have it. That is how I feel about New Genesis Elite for this. Concerned. I will have, more than likely, later today, I will have a video up going into my full thoughts in detail, especially as someone who played the JP beta, coming into global, and all the stuff that will change or modify we will be discussing that in my next video. So make sure you like, favorite, subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And with that, if you are interested in any of the beta content, I of course will have a playlist below as well where you can go ahead and check out the global beta or the JP beta if you want to. And also, have fun with all the new Genesis content that will be coming over the next few days, few weeks, and leading in to new Genesis in June. And uh, with that, if you want to support the channel any more so, I highly, highly recommend uh, patreon.com slash macon, where you can get a whole bunch of rewards, support the channel, help out, feed Luna, and uh, also help me buy Luna a new chill. She literally broke her chill like a night or two ago. I had to put it back together. One, one day she's going to freaking fall over, and I think going to hit me in the hand. We're all going to die. So make sure you help out on Patreon if you see fit. And with that, I will go ahead and see you all in the comments welcome to the end everybody thank you all for watching that video hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully if you find more video enjoyment over here on the corner of the queen make sure you check them out also i like to give a big thank you to my patreons lifted below and a special shout out to kyle browell for joining the tier 4 shout out so if you want to get your hands on some of this and a whole bunch of awesome stuff make sure you check it out on patreon.com slash macon. And with that, see you in the comment for real. Bye.